Yes, before the further discussion of uh, liquid solution, we have to know the solution. What is solution? Solution is a mixture of, it is a homogeneous mixture. homogeneous mixture of two or more than two more than two components but in our syllabus we studies only binary solution binary solution means there are only two components one is solute and other one is solvent now before binary solution we have to calculate the yeah we have to know about the solvent type of solvents on the basis of type of solvent solutions divided into three parts one when the solvent when the solvent is gas second one when the solvent is liquid and third one when the solvent is solid yes when the solvent is gas there are three varieties gas in gas liquid in gas and solid in gas as well as in liquid case of liquid solvent there are again three possibilities gas in liquid liquid in liquid and solid in liquid as well as in case of solid solvent again there are three possibilities gas dissolved in solid liquid dissolved in solid and solid dissolved in solid yes now when gas is a solvent then first case gas is solute for example carbon dioxide in nitrogen gas present in present in air second example when gas is solvent and liquid is solute it means for example h2o in air third when gas is solvent but the solute is solid solid is solute then in that case for example dust particles or smoke particles in air these are the examples when the gas is solvent and one is gas is solute liquid is solute solid is solute there are three common examples now second case when liquid 
is solvent and gas is solute when gas dissolve in liquid there are so many examples like coca cola cold drinks or any other drinks gas in solid for example carbon dioxide in h2o it is a common example second one liquid is solvent and liquid is also solute both are solute and solvent both are liquid liquid is solute for example alcohol in h2 and third one when the solute is solid solid solute solid solute means solid dissolve in liquid solid dissolve in liquid means uh, uh, nacl or glucose dissolve in h2 these are the common examples of uh, gas liquid and solid dissolve in liquid and in iit or medical syllabus we have to study only these three gas in solute gas is solute in liquid liquid is solute present in liquid gas solid as solute in liquid these are within the syllabus therefore and these are known as liquid solutions these are collectively known as liquid solution and we have to study only these only these three now third case when the solid is solvent in our syllabus now we study only liquid solution after this chapter there are another chapters and out of those there is surface chemistry under which you study the solid as solvent solid in solid and other conditions of solutions other type of solutions yes when solid is solvent and first one gas as solute then one of the common example is a hydrogen gas in palladium in or with or at palladium surface it is it is considered as a gas dissolve in solid next one second when the liquid liquid as solute liquid as solute uh, like uh, amalgam mercury in gold or another example may be hexane in paraffin wax hexane is liquid and paraffin wax is solid it means liquid dissolve in solid okay now third example when solid as solute solid is solvent as well as solid is solute then it is known as alloys alloys means uh, uh, mixture of uh, two or more than two metal like uh, copper plus zinc etc these are the examples but uh, uh, currently in this chapter we have studies only liquid as solvent and gas as solute liquid as solute or solid as solute so okay uh, let's start with liquid solutions liquid solutions liquid solutions mainly containing two components because we have to study only binary solutions 
टू कंपोनेंट मीन्स वन इज सोल्यूट अदर वन इज सॉल्वेंट जनरली द मेटीरियल विच वन इज इन मोर अमाउंट इज नोन एज ए सॉल्वेंट वेयर एज द मेटीरियल और सबस्टांस और कंपोनेंट प्रजेंट इन लेस अमाउंट इज नोन एज सोल्यूट मेनली द सोलवेंट इज एच टू ओ मेन सोलवेंट मेनली वाटर इज यूज एज सोलवेंट ड्यू टू इट्स पोलर नेचर पोलर नेचर एंड एबिलिटी टू फॉर्म एबिलिटी टू फॉर्म एच बॉन्डिंग as well as it has a high dielectric constant due to which maximum number of components or molecules can dissolve in water due to its polar nature due to its ability to form hydrogen bonding or because of its high dielectric constant which helps to dissociate or to dissolve that components or material in it okay now now the term is used solubility solubility because when any component dissolve in any solvent the term solubility is used solubility means uh, on the basis of 9th or 10th uh, we have defined the solubility number uh, total amount total amount of component or solute in gram dissolved in dissolved in 1 liter solvent mainly h2o is known as solubility but now in 12th class or in uh, on at competition levels solubility have defined in many other concentration terms concentration terms like uh, molarity molality formality normality mole fraction and many others yes now we will discuss one by one first molarity represent by capital m the term molarity uh, we have already discussed it in 11th class in a stoichiometry chapter molarity molarity defined as number of moles of solute dissolved in dissolved in per liter solution means mathematically molarity is number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liters number of moles number of moles can easily cal easily calculated can be easily calculated as number of moles is equal to the given mass divided by molar mass of solute m is the molar mass of solute 
molarity molarity it depends on temperature it depends on temperature because with increase in temperature volume increases and therefore molarity decreases but it is theoretical concept practically when a solution in which water is a solvent or any other liquid is used as solvent and in that condition if we increase the temperature of the solution the solvent particles vaporizes and goes into atmosphere therefore volume of the solution decreases so that the molarity will increase but it is practical and we have to study it is theoretical when the temperature raised we assume that there is no vaporization takes place of there is no vaporization of liquid particles so therefore uh, we select that with increase in temperature volume increases and molarity decreases now uh, molality second term molality it is represented by small m it is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by mass of a solvent in kg mass of solvent in kg means number of moles of solute present in per kg of solvent is known as molality and mainly in this chapter we have to use the molality we have to use the molality during this chapters for the numericals of a solution and molality is independent to temperature it is independent to temperature because uh, the number of moles and the weight there is no effect of temperature observed on number of moles and the weight of solvent so it is temperature independent quantity now third term formality formality is defined as like molarity formality equal to number of moles upon volume of solution in liter then what will be the difference between the molarity and formality formality mainly defined for define for ionic compounds because ionic compounds do not have molecules ionic compounds mainly have empirical formula or formula unit therefore number of moles is equal to represent as w is the given mass divided by formula unit mass fum means formula unit mass not the molar mass because ionic compounds have empirical formula known as formula unit formula unit according to the solid state now next next term is normality normality represent by n normality equal to number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter normality is defined as the number of gram equivalent of solute dissolved in per liter of solution and normality 
normality is also temperature dependent it depends on temperature like molarity and normality equal to molarity there is a relation between the normality and molarity n is the normality of the solution whereas m is the molarity of the same solution and n n is known as n factor it is known as n factor basically in stoichiometry chapter we have already studied the about the n factor n factor of acids n factor of base n factor of salts during non redox reactions during redox reactions we have already discussed it uh, for example, uh, in case of H2SO4, the n factor is 2, in case of barium hydroxide, n factor is 2, like this. Okay. Now, there is a, a relation uh, between the molarity, molality, and density, and other terms. Other terms, other terms are uh, mole fraction mole fraction mole fraction mole fraction it is represented by chi it is represented by chi and the mole fraction is the number of moles of the component divided by total number of moles present in mixture or solution means n is the number of moles of particular component divided by summation n means number sum of the number of moles of all the components present in that mixture or solution the ratio is known as mole fraction of that component next next terms are short terms known as ppm like or ppb like words ppm means parts per million means one part of the component of the component present in present in 10 to power 6 part of the solution part of the solution one part of the component present in 10 to power 6 parts of the solution is known as ppm parts per million and it is uh, regardless of the unit because the uh, unit of the solute and the unit of the solution will be same like uh, 1 gram of the component present in 10 to power 6 gram of the solution 1 ml of the component present in 10 to power 6 ml of the solution like this ppb ppb means one part of the component present in 10 to power 9 part of the solution means it is parts per billion it is known as parts per billion one part means one gram or an, any other unit one gram of the component or any solute present in 10 to the power 9 gram of the solution in which in which it is dissolved okay now there are other terms like uh, w by w what is the meaning of W by W? W by W means weight percentage by mass, mass by mass or weight percentage by mass means W by W percentage equal to weight or mass of solute divided by weight or mass of solution into 100 it is known as w by w percentage or percentage by mass percentage by mass it is most common term used during the solutions for numericals asked in j e or medical exams percentage by mass percentage by mass means mass of solute into 100 divided by mass of solution or weight uh, mass may be replaced by weight because in chemistry weight and mass are identical okay uh, and uh, there is a relation between the molarity and w by w Take. To uh, find out the relation molarity and uh, weight by weight, uh, we uh, will discuss uh, a numerical. Okay. And the language of the numerical is uh, find out the 
density of 3.6 m H2SO4 solution that is 29 percent H2SO4 by mass by mass. Now, there are two methods to find out the density of H2SO4 solution that were according to the following data. One is the short method molarity and W by W and there is a common method or basic method. Yes, first we start with basic method and that then that with common more uh, shortcut method. Yes, we know the molarity is the number of moles upon volume and number of moles is weight by molar mass upon volume. M naught is the molar mass, molar mass of H2SO4 or solute. And we assume that let volume is 1 liter, okay. 3.6 equal to W is unknown divided by molar mass is 98 and volume is 1 liter. Yes, and second density, density is equal to mass of solution divided by volume of solution. We assume the volume of solution is 1 liter. So, density equal to mass of solution divided by 1. And if we know the mass of solution, we can find out the uh, density of the solution. So, uh, first we have to find out the mass of solution. Mass of solution, mass of solution is equal to the uh, weight, let the mass, let the mass of the solution is x gram. And according to the numerical 29 percent H2SO4 by mass is present. So, 29 percent of x should be equal to the weight of or mass of H2SO4. And if we find out the x, then we put it in density formula and we can calculate the density. So, weight of H2SO4 from equation 1, we can find out from equation 1 and according to equation 1, W is equal to 3.6 into 98. Therefore, x into 29 by 100 equal to 3.6 into 98. And therefore, x the calculated value of x will be the density of the solution, because it will be divided by 1 only. Uh, so, after calculation we get 1.22 gram per liter. It can be calculated on the basis of shortcut method. There is a shortcut between the molarity and density. Molarity equal to percentage by mass into density into 10 upon molar mass of H2SO4 or solute, molar mass of solute. So, molarity is here molarity is 3.6 percentage by mass is 29, density is unknown, 10 divided by molar mass is 98 and from here we also get the same value 1.22 gram per liter. So, it is on the basis of basic method, basic principle methods we can calculate the same answer and as well as on the basis of shortcut method, but uh, we should know the basic method. Uh, we should know the basic method because uh, it uh, may or may not be remembered you know may or may not remember the formula, but the basic method it on the basis of basic method you can calculate each and every numerical 
विदाउट लर्निंग दैट टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज